All right, just showing off the Samsung Fastnet. This is RAM 4.2. Heli Bean, sort of cool ROM, but hey, kind of sucks on this phone. I mean, once you have the dual, dual core life, single core is slow as hell, but it's running 4.2, the latest software. It's pretty smooth. I have it right now, I'll show you where my settings are at. If you do plan on flashing this ROM, or if you watch this video and want me to post the link in the description, just let me know. But to get this ROM even moving for me, which would probably be different on your phone, I had to change the settings to this. I had to change it to Interactive 1.2. It's ugh, it was hella buggy, but uh, and I have the K KSM kernel sandwich man merging. Have that on. Is that improves performance too? But other than that, it's pretty cool. ROM 4.2. It's been such a long time since I touched AOSP, since I had this on the floor. <laughs> Not using it. Been using my Galaxy S3. Staying touch with, but it's the lock screen. Has the Gmail. It's a widget. Ain't nothing showing because I recently took my account off of it. Nah, not. This is basically the lock screen. You can play with it. No, you can't do anything with you when you unlock it, so it's kind of cool. It's a cool setting. If anybody tries to, if one of us use a phone, you can't use it without your password. See? You can slide it up and down. You can add more. See, so you need the code. No, I don't care about my password being shown. It's not like you guys are going to find my phone. <laughs> Why is it not working? There we go. These are the widgets you can add, calendar, digital clock, gmail, messaging, and sound search. Those are the settings you can add. To the lock screen, that's what happens when you slide it left, you want to get rid of one, just hold it. You can just slide it up and it removes it. You can change the position of them. You know. I wonder why it's not working. I forget how to do it. I don't know. But when you're on your lock screen, you slide it to the right to you know, access your camera. I think this is a cool feature right here. No, it's running out of space. If you use, let's say, you can't even slide to the right, see? You know, like when you slide it to the right, it's just gonna pop up the lock screen. So if you take a picture, is it gonna take a picture? Do I have enough space for that? Nope. When you would take a picture, let me explain. When you take a picture, she stop acting stupid. All your pictures you take while on the lock screen will pop up here and no more pictures will be shown. So I don't like to show the rest of the pictures, you'd have to unlock your phone. If you have a code on it, that is. And that's only for if you have, you know, unlike me, space on your SD card. Everything's basically the same. You've seen the camera app ah, application. They took off Photosphere, this is Heli Bean, so they took off Photosphere because Photosphere doesn't work in the Fastnet, as you may or may not have known. The settings, you slide it down. Store location, 5 megapixels is, you know... It's camera specs. You can have flash on and off. But that's how you access things. The easy way to access is to do that, but you have to still slide it. And the Heli Bean it has extra settings. So you have status bar settings. You can do the icon status for the signal, the battery. See so you have the battery icon. Let me focus this. And I have a Percent, but that you can hide it. You could do just percentage. You can do stock, but I prefer circle or percentage. For some weird, strange reason. Status bar, you can change the location of it. Center, right. You can have no clock. But no center is cool. You can have the weekday. You can have a big, or you can have it small. You know, you can have it not at all, like stock would. You can change the color of it. 
Okay, I have the AM, PM, big or small. Notification draw. You can add the power widget. Never showed that. You know I mean, I don't really want it. Let me just show you what it looks like. It looks ugly up there when you, because if you look at it, here's a cool little feature. You can just use two fingers, slide it down. Oh, wait, is it gonna work with this on? No, that's what power widget. That's why I don't want it. Power widget off. It only works with the power widget off. Just experienced. You slide it two fingers down. It opens up the quick panel settings, and it has all of these. You have the alarm clock, GPS, your Wi-Fi hotspot, your torch. It works. See. You can use Bluetooth, you can shut your screen off, that works too. It's pretty cool. Let me back down. And then you have rotation, airplane, Wi Fi, this is your service. All these settings, they're toggles. So I'm going to shut my Wi Fi off and put it on. If you want to go to the setting itself, you just basically hold it, and it'll bring you there. Yeah. Easier way to get to it, if you slide on with one hand, see that little icon right there, it's going to rotate it. And that's all, that's all there is to it. You get your brightness. Oops, I think it clicked on battery. Did I? Yeah, I did. Eh, two hours. This phone's been on the floor dead for weeks. But, and that's basically... All the rest of the ROM, brightness, change the brightness, click on it, it's going to bring up a little thingy for you. Oh, I fail. Change the brightness of it. And that's basically all there is to the Heli Beam ROM. I mean, I suggest try it out for all you people who want to fasten it. And want 4.2 experience with, you know, different stuff. Extra add-ons. I suggest you would try this out. And when you use this to get to developer options, because it's not their stock, you have to double multi click that. So you don't need your developer. Just keep on clicking the build number and it'll pop up for those who didn't know. It's 4.2.1. And that's about it.